lot of my childhood is... I wouldn't call myself a tomboy as such, but I did spend a lot of time just going on bike rides and rollerblading and... At the same time as well, I used to be really into my studies. I, I, I was, I'll say, I admit it, I was a swat. And I used to love it. I used to get home at night with my homework. And I, I wouldn't love doing the homework. I'd rather have a, a free night. But once I got into it, I would not stop until I knew for sure I was going to get A-star merit. Even an A-star wouldn't have been good. I had to get a merit. I had to, you know, because you got like 10 and then yeah. you'd go up for a certificate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But, you know, I... Um, so I, I love doing schoolwork, but, you know, I had a lot of friends, and it was always fun growing up in Chester, actually, because, I don't know, we could really have a childhood there. I mean, I think one summer, I, I spent the whole summer as well looking after horses on an animal sanctuary. I, I did quite a lot of bizarre stuff, but I really enjoyed that as well, like working with animals. But generally, I have fond memories of childhood. <laughs> I don't know, since I've been here, I've got rid of the writer's block that I sometimes suffered whilst I was in London for some reason. And now I just I just definitely feel more creative here. Like, as soon as I got here, I just started to play my guitar again, which I never... I used to... I had the... There, it's like a pink guitar. It's really crap. But <laughs> I bought it in, like when I was in London, and I never really played it at all. Just I just let it sit there and look nice. But now, as soon as I got here, I started playing it again, and started like really listening to all my, the old music that I used to and yeah I just don't know why there's just something about Brighton